Hello, all my dear student friends. Welcome to this session. We are studying the subject power engineering and refrigeration. And the last topic that is refrigeration and air conditioning. Let us study few applications of air conditioning like window air conditioner, split air conditioner, and central air conditioning system. Let us start with the window air conditioner. So, what is a window air conditioner? The name indicates that this window air conditioner is kept in the window. Right? So, actually, it is kept in the wall and it is used as a room air conditioner. So, it is a type of a unitary air conditioner and it is used for cooling the air, filtering the air and sometimes even for dehumidifying the air. So, this window air conditioner is used to filter, cool and sometimes dehumidify the air. Window air conditioner is a single unit installed in the window. There is a partition in this window air conditioner and it is parallel to the wall in which the window air conditioner is installed. So, there is a partition parallel to the wall in the middle of the unit. Located on the outer side of the partition are compressor, condenser, condenser fan and the condenser motor etc. Then on the inner side we have evaporator, the evaporator fan and evaporator motor. Then the expansion device, control panel, the filter, air filter, the swing or the louvers which will just change the direction of the air. Uh, the cold air which is coming out from the window air conditioner. So, all these components are enclosed and fitted in a single decorative cabinet. Right? So, these are the various components of the window air conditioner and all these components are present in a single decorative cabinet. So, some components are present on the inner side of the partition and some components are present on the outer side of the partition. Okay. So, those components which are not required for air conditioning, which will just make the noise and which should be placed outside so that the hot air will go outside the room. Right. So, accordingly it is decided that which components should be placed inside and which components should be placed on the outside of the partition. So, this is a picture of the window air conditioner. As you can see that uh, this is a compressor, right? Then this is, a, this is a condenser coil, right? This is the condenser fan and the condenser motor, right? So, you can see first of all that uh, this is the wall and this is the outer side, this is the inner side, outer side and the inner side. Okay. So, on the outer side we have the compressor, the condenser, the condenser fan, condenser motor, etc. On the inner side we are having the evaporator coil and this is the evaporator fan which is a centrifugal fan. This condenser fan is the axial fan. Okay. So, this is the fan, evaporator fan, right. Then its motor, sometimes common meter motor may also be used for the fans of the condenser and the evaporator, right. So, here uh, this is the window air conditioner, and uh, you can see here that the air from the room is entering inside this window air conditioner, it comes in contact with the uh, evaporator coil, it gets cooled and then it goes back to the room, right. Similar to the outside air 
comes in contact with the condenser coil it gets heated and it leaves the air conditioner so on the outer side of the partition this is a partition here we have a partition so on the outer side of the partition are compressor this is the outer side and we have the compressor then the condenser condenser fan and its motor right on the inner side we have evaporator this is the evaporator coil its fan this is the fan centrifugal fan then its motor right motor for this fan then the expansion device so expansion device may be a capillary tube so that expansion device is not uh, seen here okay so as the condenser ends then the expansion device starts right so here somewhere the expansion device may be present then the control panel so the control panel is not seen because this is open so control panel is used to uh, <coughs> various switches are provided on the control panel and these are used to control the working of the air conditioner to switch it on switch it off increase or decrease the speed or the cooling rate can be increased or decreased by the various uh, buttons on the control panel right then we have a filter on the inner side there is a filter so the inside air is first of all filtered and that then it enters inside the window air conditioner so that the dust and dust part dirt particles will not damage the inside components especially the evaporator coil of the window air conditioner <coughs> then the swing is there or louvers are present so as to change the direction of the air as per the requirement okay if swing is there then automatic due to automatic swing the direction of the air will be changed automatically to the left and right and up and down as per requirement right so let us go ahead and see this is a wall right so and this is a partition right so this is the outside portion and this is the inside portion right this is the wall this is the outside portion this is the inside portion and this is the partition right so this partition separates this outside components from the inside components as well as from the inside portion of the room right and it also separates this our inner components or the inside portion of the room from these outer components so that less noise will enter inside the room because this compressor will make some noise this condenser fan and motor will also make some noise so this noise should not enter inside the room right but in window air conditioner uh, some noise is entering inside the room and therefore we are using the split air conditioner okay so we will first of all complete this the study of window air conditioner and then we will study the split air conditioner right so again this is a diagram of the window air conditioner where the components of the window air conditioner are shown this is the wall right and this is the outside portion outside room okay so this is the compressor so the refrigerant gets compressed in the compressor then it goes to the condenser it gets condensed cooled and condensed in the condenser right so this is a uh, air cooled condenser forced convection type air cooled condenser so we are using a axial fan and the motor is also present so this axial fan will blow the air over this condenser so the outside air will uh, be blown over this condenser and this air will go outside only right and uh, this is the expansion device after the condenser that is the capillary tube okay and uh, there is some uh, arrangement for the entry of the fresh outdoor air also okay so most of the air is recirculated but we can also take some fresh outdoor air so for that there is some provision made here then these are the inside components right so the inside components contain the uh, include the filter then this is the evaporator coil then the evaporator fan and maybe evaporator motor right and then the control panel and the louvers or the swing to change the direction of the air so you can see here that the air from the room first of all enters inside the window air conditioner through this filter 
So before it enters, it gets filtered through the filter. And then this filtered air comes in contact with the eupter coil. So this eupter coil is cold. The refrigerant is being evaporated in the eupter coil. So this evaporating refrigerant will absorb the heat from this air, which is filtered. So the air gets cooled. And then this cold air is delivered like this to the room again back. Okay. So after evaporation, the refrigerant will go back to the compressor. Right. So this is the construction and the working of the window air conditioner. If you want to study the working in detail. So we are using the vapor compression refrigeration system. So here the after getting compressed in compressor, the refrigerant reject heat in the condenser and get condensed into liquid. Now it expands in the capillary tube and evaporates in the evaporator, thus absorbing the heat of evaporation and cooling the air. The inside air passes through filtering material and gets filtered, after which it comes in contact with the evaporator coil and gets cooled. This conditioned air is supplied back to the room. This circulation of air is done by centrifugal evaporator fan. So the fan which is present uh, inside, that is the evaporator fan, is the centrifugal type of fan. Similarly, the condenser fan circulates outside air over condenser coil. So the outside air is circulated over the condenser coil uh, for cooling and uh, the, the refrigerant is cooled and it is condensed into liquid in the condenser coil. Right? So, this is the working of the window air conditioner. Now, let us study the split air conditioner. So, there is one problem with the window air conditioner is that though the partition is present, but the partition is not completely soundproof. So, the noise from the noise of the compressor and the condenser, comp condenser, condenser fan, condenser motor will try to go inside and it will uh, create some discomfort right so for that purpose we are using the split air conditioner so in split air conditioner instead of having a partition and separating the components by the partition we are having two separate units so in the industry in the factory the this one split air conditioner is manufactured as two separate units one is the outside unit and second is the inside unit so this is the outside unit this unit is totally present outside uh, in a decorative cabinet similarly this unit is present totally present inside in a decorative cabinet okay so again this split air conditioner is used to filter cool and sometimes dehumidify the air right so the function of the split air conditioner is similar to the window air conditioner right but it provides some more comfort than the window air conditioner by reducing the noise. Since this outside unit is totally present outside, outside the wall, okay. So hardly the noise of the compressor and the condenser fan and condenser motor will enter inside the room, right. So this will increase the comfort and for this purpose we are going uh, going to the split air conditioner. So this split air conditioner consists of two units. One is the inside unit, other is the outside unit. So this is the inside unit, this is the outside unit. These are two separate units, right? And these two units are connected, charged, installed and tested at the site. These two units are not connected in the factory. They are not charged in the factory. Okay, installation in the factory is not possible and testing is also done at the site where this split air conditioner is installed, right. So, <clears throat> the installation includes the connection of these two particular units, these two particular units which are uh, manufactured as separately in the industry, they are connected at the site, okay. So, just two holes are made in the wall or sometimes even one hole is made in the wall and you can see that this evaporator end of the evaporator is connected to the compressor right so that is a suction line so 
so this pipe is there suction pipe is there okay so this is connected here at the side by making a hole in the wall similarly the expansion device is connected to the u operator okay if the expansion device is located inside then this expansion device will be connected to the condenser okay so condenser then expansion device is the capillary tube and then the u operator so this connection is made these two connections are there right and they are made at the site and then the charging is done installation is done at the site itself and testing is also done at the site only right so that is the special feature of the split air conditioner and this is how the split air conditioner is different from the window air conditioner now located in the outside unit are compressor again compressor condenser condenser fan then motor motor of the condenser fan is also present outside so this is the compressor condenser condenser fan and this is the motor <coughs> this is the fan and this is the motor of the condenser fan right so these components are located outside in inside unit we have u operator u operator coil is located inside because u operator coil works as a cooling coil so it must be located inside only so we are having fan for the u operator this fan is not shown this figure but fan is there right and of course it will have a separate motor in this case <coughs> the expansion device and the control panel the filter swing or louvers all these components are present on the inside unit they are present with the inside unit right so control panel is required inside because we have to control from inside right nowadays instead of control panel we are just having a remote then of course filter is there you can see this filter this is the filter okay then the air is coming out from the window air can split air conditioner in the room through the swing or the louvers so as to change the direction of the air as per the requirement okay so all these components are enclosed and fitted in two separate decorate decorative cabinets we are having two separate decorative cabinets and these components are uh, fitted in these two decorative cabinets right <coughs> so this is slightly enlarged picture of the split air conditioner this is the outside unit this is the inside unit you can see the compressor then the condenser condenser coil then this is the condenser fan and motor right then uh, this is nothing but the dryer strainer okay so the impurities are removed and the moisture particles are removed from the refrigerant and then the refrigerant pass to the capillary tube which act as the expansion device and then it goes to the air operator okay so here the wall is there between these two units wall is there but holes are made in the wall okay so minimum diameter holes are made and then these holes are closed also so only these pipes are allowed to enter through these holes right from the outside unit to the inside unit right so that the connections can be made so here there is one connection here there is one more connection so the refrigerant evaporates in the evaporator so evaporator is nothing but the cooling coil the air is cooled as it comes in contact with the evaporator coil first of all it is filtered and then it is supplied back to the room okay so this is nothing but the split air conditioner now let us study the working of the split air conditioner similar to the window air conditioner the inside air passes through filtering material and gets filtered after which it comes in contact with evaporator and gets cooled right so the inside air gets filtered and then it comes in contact with the evaporator coil it gets cooled and this conditioned air or cooled air is supplied back to the room this circulation of air is done by centrifugal evaporator fan we are having a centrifugal fan which will circulate the air over the evaporator coil okay similarly the condenser fan circulates outside air over condenser coil so this is the condenser fan which will circulate the outside air over the condenser coil 
so that the refrigerant will get cooled and condensed in the condenser coil. Okay. <clears throat> then the vapor compression system is again used here also. Uh, after getting compressed in compressor, the refrigerant reject heat in condenser and get condensed into liquid. Now it expands in the capillary tube and evaporates in the evaporator is the evaporator thus absorbing the heat of evaporation right so this is the working of the split air conditioner we have studied the construction and working of the window air conditioner as well as the split air conditioner so thank you my dear friends